Let us continue our discussion about preparing egg dishes. Eggs can be prepared many ways and are important ingredients in cooking and baking. It also plays very important functions in cookery as it has many uses. Today, we are going to focus our discussion on the different uses of egg and different methods of cooking egg. The objectives for today's lesson are the following. At the end of the lesson, students are expected to discuss the different uses of egg in cookery, identify the types of egg used in cookery, prepare and cook egg dishes demonstrating the uses of egg in cookery, and identify and demonstrate the different methods of cooking egg. Let's start with the uses of egg in cookery. As mentioned in our previous discussion, egg is one of the versatile ingredients used in cookery. It is considered as a primary ingredient in culinary preparation, providing moisture, structure, and richness in dishes. Now let us discuss one by one the different uses of egg in cookery. First is, egg can be cooked and served as is. When it comes to cooking and serving egg as is, always keep in mind that we have two major ways on how we can cook the egg. The first one is cooking the egg inside the shell, which includes soft cook and hard cooked eggs, and cooking the egg outside the shell, such as poached egg, scrambled egg, fried egg, omelette, and baked egg. And here are the applied examples. Second is egg can be used in aeration or can be used as aerating agent. Aeration is a critical function in the formulation of baked goods and other foods. Aeration refers to the process of introducing a gas such as air into a liquid or viscous solution. Beaten eggs contribute volume and lighter texture to baked goods such as sponge cake. The aeration achieved in lighter textured food can be attributed to eggs, specifically whole eggs and egg whites. When air is incorporated into a food, a foam forms, which is basically entrapped air bubbles. That foam influences the height and density of a food. Egg whites can be whipped to produce a foam that is 6 to 8 times greater in volume. When whole eggs are whipped and used to aerate baked goods, the process is more accurately referred to as leavening. Basically, aerating is most commonly applied using egg white. When egg is beaten, albumin is denatured. Air is incorporated as white is stretched into thin films. With continuous beating, the air cells are subdivided and volume is increased.
protective coating. Many of the food items such as fish fillet and croquettes are dipped into a batter before crumbing and then fried. And the applied examples are the following. Next is Emulsifying Agent. An emulsion as defined by food technology, it is the temporary stable mixture of immiscible fluids such as oil and water, achieved by finely dividing one face into very small droplets. Nature designed multiple functions into the egg, including its ability to emulsify, so which means the egg can be used as an emulsion or emulsifier. Um, while most commonly associated with mayonnaise, the, the emulsifying capacity of the whole egg, egg yolks, and even egg whites plays a role in baking and other applications. The absence of eggs in a certain formulation such as mayonnaise can affect emulsion stability and final product appearance. Many proteins in egg yolk can act as emulsifiers because they have some amino acids that repel water and some amino acids that attract water. Mix egg proteins thoroughly with oil and water and one part of the protein will stick together with the water and the other part will stick to the oil. As mentioned, eggs form stable emulsions. For example, mayonnaise, oil, and vinegar separate unless droplets are coated with substance that keeps them from separating. Eggs are the emulsifiers that give a smooth mayonnaise sauce. And here are the applied examples. We have the mayonnaise and a mustard sauce. Egg can also be used to enrich food products. Eggs are a great way to enrich the flavors of foods, giving them color along with the added nutritional value. Eggs can also be used to enrich drinks such as eggnog or a seasonal Christmas treat. In addition, many sauces, soups, and some stews are finished with what is known as liaison, which purpose is to slightly thicken and enrich the finished dish. Liaison is a mixture of egg yolks and cream and is added just prior to serving the dish. Here are the applied examples. For number 8, egg can be used as a garnish and one of the best examples for this is the one that we can find in any handaan, the palabo. Silver, sieved, or quarters of boiled eggs are used to decorate or garnish dishes such as salads, biryanis, curries, Vienna steaks, and others. For consomme savior, threaded eggs are added as a garnish. And for our applied examples, of course, we have the palabo and a vegetable salads with croutons and slices of egg. Next, egg can also be used as a glazing agent. Beaten raw eggs, sometimes mixed with water and a little salt, can be used for glazing, pastry, or bread to give it a shine when baked. It can also be used for blind baking as it seals the pastry base, ensuring it won't absorb moisture and also gives the pastry a good golden color. An egg wash is prepared by beating a whole egg or by using the yolk alone. Egg wash is used to provide a gloss finish to pastry items which are cooked at high temperatures for extended periods of time. And these are the applied examples. Next, for number 10, the egg can be used as a setting agent. So try to imagine a custard or a leche flan without an egg as part of the ingredients. And I think I can sense already a question in your mind, how it will form. And that's exactly why egg is important. 